Hello and welcome to another Raggies beer review. So today we're going over to Scarborough, to North Riding Brewery. Um, been to the brew pub uh, back in 2021, was it 2022? I think it was 2022 actually, uh, I think anyway. Um, but anyway, Five and a half percent. These guys know how to make a nice um, dark beer. So five and a half percent. Irish coffee stout. Um, North Riding Brewery, Unit Six, Barker's Lane, Snainton, Scarborough, YO thirteen nine BD. www.northridingbrewery.com. So let's do a nothing else. Dive in. Got this from Yorkshire Craft Beer. Yorkshire Craft Beer got a load of their beers. So, um, you break the 70 quid barrier, you're laughing. Here we go. Now, I have had many of their beers on cast, but never out of a bottle. So, you know, it's um, the dark beers. Uh, I'm sure I've had one of theirs in a bottle before but i'm not 100 so as we can see it's a black pour with a beige head that's dissipated quite quickly it's certainly got a coffee aroma to it not bad really no, you know a, a nice Reminds me of coffee cream. A problem I found with coffee beers, and I don't mean this one, is that a lot of coffee beers, they go overboard with blooming coffee. And there's an intensity and there's there's a, there's, a, there's a real balance. I mean, as, and I suppose it depends on what, how you like your your beers. Do you like them intense or do you not like them intense? Um, or, or even in the glass. <laughs> but uh, it's an intense. Um, but um, this is you, you've got subtle where you can get you get a coffee. You get s s more than subtle, but not, you know, intense. And then obviously there's the intense ones. This to me is in that sweet zone after subtle, um, between being in the right area and then becoming intense. It's in that um, actual drop box. Um, be honest it's going down well and uh, I shall be taking a glass up the house so I'm not going to drink all of it because now when it says Irish coffee um, I mean I'm getting a nice coffee cream element to it I assume uh, they use flavouring essences to get the the flavour, I assume, don't really know. So, but uh, with that, I mean, they do so many different flavoured beers: a popcorn porter, a banoffee porter, coffee stout. And if you've ever been in pubs and drank their beers, they do a wide range of different flavoured stouts. But they they, they go down a treat. Um, a local pub near me called um, Abdication had a North Riding tap takeover earlier this year. And bogger me, I didn't know anything about it until afterwards. And I was gutted because uh, these beers are right down Raggy Avenue, you know. As a home brewer, I like to play around with flavours and that. Uh, and uh, well, that's better, they're going solid now. Yeah. And yeah, it just... Getting different flavours in beers, it's what it's all about, you know, nice flavoured beer. Becoming a 
something a bit more, a bit more intense, um, but still not too much. So, like anything, you know, when you drink a bit more, you get the flavour burst out. Um, I'll be honest, absolutely, it's the spot for me. Um, so, North Riding Brewery, I'm, we're going up again in September. We're going to Bread Brewer and Tap Room. We're going to do a collab. We're going to do two collabs. Uh, we've not sorted out the beers yet. One goes for something. The first, the, some one part of me wants to wants to do an impy, but it's not always easy to sell impies for little tap rooms. And Bridlington is not Nottingham. In Nottingham at Neon Raptor, you could put fourteen percenters on, and they are going to fly. Uh, it's not the same when you get out. So uh, it's looking at styles of beer that you know. Uh, are really interesting and, and I like um, ESBs I think they're an interesting style of beer um, well I, I'll do a video um, soon because it's not going to be long it's only two months so he's, he's got to think about things beforehand and uh, we'll get the public to choose but i'm hoping also to get over to north riding brewery um and if, if anybody from north riding brewery watches this uh, um do you do your whole range of beers at the brewery you know in bottle um is there a massive range um i need to look actually so let me just quickly because I'm on a bit of time, a time thing tonight. So let me Google North North Riding Brewery. Always best. And this is sometimes where doing beer reviews, you learn about the breweries, um, about what beers they sell, and uh, how much they charge for delivery and and, and so on. Am I of legal age? Modern ale is traditionally brewed. And uh, about us. Our beers. Core range of mosaic, citra and cascade are brewed all year round. I've got Bravo up there, which is a... Yeah. So citra pale. I've reviewed that before. Definitely. Definitely. And I have actually think I've reviewed mosaic pale before. Be it on cask or bottle, I'm not sure. Um, so click on that shop there we go our beer shop modern ales products a beanie at 10 quid that's not bad actually because sometimes they're a bit pricey these bloody hats uh, oh that's it oh oh where's the bloody beer then Free delivery over 80 quid. Yeah. Well, I need some beer in the bank first. <laughs> yeah. Don't know what's going off there then. Uh, unless they're just not doing it at the moment. Um, oh well. I'll have to message them. And uh, see if they actually... They may just not do uh, online anymore. For, for obvious some for reasons breweries do. I can't get Brid Brewer online and uh, I'd, I'd take all of his beers and review them. Um, but when I go, I'll be getting all of his beers. Uh, all of them. There's going to be a showcase on Maggie's Beer Reviews. And uh, I'll have to put some pennies aside to do it. But uh, hey ho, you know. Um, we'll see what goes on there. So, I'll pull a bit more into the thing. And uh, wary that I've, I'm on a bit of a time limit to that. So it's Irish coffee stout. As you can see, black pour. A uh, bit of a beige head on it. It's a lovely coffee nose with a nice creamy uh, back end. Yeah, you, can't be, <laughs> you can't be a creamy back end, can you? 
Let's not go down that road. Um, but be careful what you say on day reviews. It smells amazing. It really does. The, you know, the, the, the aroma's spot on. That is oh so bloody sessionable. When you wallop it down, you, the, the intensity dials up a little bit, which is nice. It's not too intense, but um, yeah, we're not talking about tense anymore. We're talking about intense. Tense. Would I drink it again? Yes. Would I drink it in Nottingham again? Please, someone in Nottingham, get this. Beeston. Crown Inn. Um, Victoria Hotel. Either one of them, I'm all good. Irish Coffee Stout, please. North Riding Brewery, please get one of them to have that on cask. I want to taste it on cask. You know. And uh, tap up one of them to do a bloody North Riding tap takeover. And meet the brewer. Hey, there's another thing. But uh, anyway. Yeah. Um, out of five, wow. And for me, it's it's the balance is perfect with this. It tastes nice, good aroma. It hits the spot. It's the raggy spot. We're going down Raggy Avenue here. Um, raggy Avenue is is what I call beers that are at the top. And uh, yeah, wow. Doesn't have to be a 15%er, doesn't have to be a 2%er. It can be any sort of beer. That's a good beer. Out of five for me, a good 4.6 all day long. Thank you for watching. See you soon.